guys welcome back to bl world drama your go-to source for the juiciest scandals in the world of bl and gls from trending hashtags to sizzling social media drama i've got it all join me as i dive deep into the lives of your favorite stars with exclusive updates secrets and interviews that will keep you hooked subscribe now ring the bell and let's dive into the glitz the glam and the scandalous world of bl and gls so let's get right into it so today's video is about the friend becky fandom and the friend becky fandom has been going through it and it has been going through it from i think july when the video did come out until now like that fandom has never been the same again and in every instance it is a competition for them whether this one does is being better than the other one or this one is being favored more than the other like shed being thrown left right and center and like i hear at some point also these big fan bases are part of the shed and then they do pretend and i feel like also after the whole video came out like people were forced to choose sides and as things went by people also like changed their sides like there were people who were for friend after the video came out and they decided to move to becky and there are people who after like things were going like when things was coming out they decided to go back to friend and some remained to to becky so like the fans have been like jumping from one camp to another like that and it is like and others are apparently or allegedly pretending to be friend becky for both the girls but them themselves in the inside those groups have already chosen one person to support who they support like i think 90 percent and they support the other girl 10 percent so the fans are really really going through it as much as their actors or their idols are going through it they're also part of people who also have been affected by this whole thing and i said and i will say it again from my previous video if you loved an actor if you loved friend if you loved becky or if you loved both of them you loved them because you saw the talent in them you saw the quality in them the star quality in them you saw something that they did portray in their works or outside their work that pushed you to like them so if you didn't like them for that and you liked them for like the ship and the fan service then that is where but you will find that you have a problem in still supporting them or a problem in choosing who to support and who to not support because at the end of the day and i say again i have no problem with friend or becky having a boyfriend or having other relationships other than with themselves i fully support that what i don't like is the line and is the answering evasively to questions that are very straightforward that needs like answers that are very specific but if you are now trying to be evasive and if you are trying to cover things that are actually truth with lies now that's where i have a problem with now this is me veering off like on topic so let me just get back to the topic about the competition now the competition has moved to like gifting fun giftings like yesterday i think it was mid autumn celebration something like that i didn't know people celebrated that but like obviously i am from a different country a different continent so like i am learning so many things like from the asian community 
and I'm actually loving it. And that's the beauty of the internet. It opens us to a world that we didn't know and cultures and things that we didn't know that were out there. Again, I will always stand by my position and saying that giving these actors things after every seven or 14 business days is just a waste to me. Like there is so many ways you can show support, but if you do show support in a way like, let me say this in terms that are clear. Like if I go to a shop and I take out my money, I spend it on maybe, let me say a book. And then I take that book home. That book is mine because I own it. And then when someone borrows that book and like either mishandles it or stays with it too long or whatever the case might be, I would feel entitled to the book because the book is mine because I spent money on it. And with everything that I do purchase with money out of my pockets that I funnel money from my pocket to something, I automatically like the act of ownership comes like in a way where buying let me say like bride price like in so many countries that still like give out like bride price and all that because now let me talk it in a way that is understandable like ownership of someone like some men or some families the men family will feel like when they do like give out bride price, like the woman now necessarily becomes like part of their property. Like the woman belongs to them. Like they have a say on what this woman does, how this woman lives and all that. And if this woman doesn't like it, some families even go to the extent of asking back for their bride price. So for me, I feel like this is what like fans feel like when they do like spend their money on these actors. They feel like it's a form of like ownership, owning them. And if like you don't behave or you don't act like the way they want to, like they get upset. And some even go to the extent of asking for the things that they gave them to be given back to them. And these actors, when they do take these things, like every single day, you know, there is a difference of like me buying someone a gift on like your birthday or giving like someone that I love a gift on Valentine's Day or on Christmas Day. Like that is understandable. But me giving you or kind of feeling that I provide for the lifestyle that you have every single day, like it will give someone like a sort of entitlement. So it's either you give or and you don't get paid. So if you don't give them like the way they want, the content that the way they want, you won't get paid like the way you used to get paid. So when you make them happy, they make you happy. So this happened like the minute like friend and Becky like posted like their gifts, like it was already starting to be a competition. Like friend got more expensive gifts than Becky. Friend got this, which is more expensive than everything that Becky has. It was a competition and I was stunned. I didn't understand what was happening. And then later on comes this now narrative that Apparently, the people that gave them those gifts were trying to set Becky up. And they were set, trying to set Becky up by giving Becky a gift, a necklace that looks exactly like Nat. And I'm here wondering, is have fans become as paranoid as friend and sang after this whole incident? Because you don't expect that that group Again, 
I'm not here like supporting anyone, but I am going to speak my opinion and that's it. So I don't expect you to feel like this like fandom or fan base sat down, contributed their own money, bought these two girls' gifts, and then you expect them now to have come and like ask the general public that we want to purchase this. Can you please check and make sure that Seng and Nat don't have the same items in their closet? Like, do you know how ridiculous that sounds? Like, you don't expect them to go and decide and sit down and decide, okay, we are going to buy her this, we are going to buy her this. Okay, you go quickly check, like, Nat's Instagram and make sure he doesn't have the same necklace. You check his TikTok, you check his Facebook, you check his Twitter. Do you know how much manpower that takes? Like these people have their own lives. And they are doing this just to show love. So when you come after them and try to feel like they were setting back up, which I wouldn't know, but it is ridiculous for me for them to go through all that just to set them up so that means that they did go to now it is the other round way around they did go to like nat's instagram and checked all like all his pictures until they came up to that necklace and then they decided to buy that necklace and make sure that it specifically went to becky's hand and then the person who brought this whole thing to the internet. Why in the first place you specifically did find out that Nat had the same necklace? What exactly were you, were you looking for? And the period that those pictures were posted by friend and Becky and the fandom and the minute that you posted like those pictures does it mean that you had planned to do this beforehand or this is the same thing i'm saying like there are people that make sure that are out every single day like the way i said like the becky e spirit account like they have like it is like a fan club i think my opinions again a fan club that they do sit and make sure that every single day someone has a part to play in making sure that the friend saying content is talked about which again i don't necessarily agree with it and i don't necessarily not agree with it because at the end of the day like the truth has to come out and for for people to just keep quiet and feel like this thing would die down it's not right because at the end of the day there are a lot of bls coming out and a lot of gls coming out and like the friend saying situation should have been used to make sure that these actors that are still in the bl and gl industry that are still coming up out to do BL and GL industry, that they should know that fan service shouldn't be used as a promotional or a marketing tool for their shows or for themselves. Like to to give them like the star possibilities that they want. So it should have been, they should have used it like as, it should have been like a cautionary tale or what do I say, not like an educational thing and also the invasion of privacy it should have been like used in a way it could it should have been spoken about more in a way like to educate fans that what they did is not right and to teach fans on ways on being better fans so I got off the topic. So that's it. Like people should stop being paro- paranoid. And if you want like your actors, 
like the friend Becky, friend and Becky, to have things that don't look like the same, then this is what you should do. Like these fan clubs, you guys tell these fan clubs that before they make sure they buy something, they should specifically go to these Gucci stores, these Hermes stores that you guys go and buy them stuff from this Dior stuff shops and ask for custom made things and those things should only be made for friend and back because other than that today it was not necklace that looked like the necklace that becky has tomorrow it will be some other actor who has something the same as becky or the same as friend so it is always going to be someone else because you will be constantly looking who has the same thing other than that and you will always be looking like what are they going to do like to trip like my actor or my actress so you guys stop being paranoid like if you want the support take the support if you don't want the support stop the support like stop asking or giving these people things and also again that fan club did come forward and say that they didn't choose who gets what they just gave the gifts and let the girls choose so if the girls chose that means becky chose that specific necklace so now are we going to accuse becky of choosing the necklace that does match with nat does it mean that becky wanted the same thing that nat has so why are you not calling out Becky now? You see how this whole thing is ridiculous and doesn't make sense? So you guys just stop. Stop being paranoid. It is actually causing more harm than you think. So if you want to like support, support. If you don't want to support, don't support. Don't always find fault. Be appreciative because there are people who still want to give them gifts together, spend their money on them. So that's all I have to say today or now, for now, I don't know. So because I was on like leave and I did take some times out, some days away from the city and I went to the countryside to relax and all that. That's why like for the past few days I have been very limited in like producing like videos but now i'm back because i have a lot of content that has lagged behind and now i am like working towards put them out so i don't know if this will be my only video today or i will release another video again during the day so if you haven't subscribed subscribe turn on the post notification give me a thumbs up comment with all this with what you think about all this do you think like fans are doing too much and i just or i just too paranoid or i just too entitled just tell me your opinion in the comment section so i'll see you in my next video bye